company is based in Cologne, Germany. We've got about 30 employees uh, and we make a multiplex proteomic analysis technology. Multiplex proteomics is the study of multiple proteins in a single sample. And so we create panels of multiplexed protein analysis tools that are matched together by theme. So we look at a number of cytokines involved in inflammation. We look at a number of complement proteins involved in the immune response, etc. Our technology is specifically oriented toward translational research, meaning scientists who are involved in discovery, whether in an academic setting or research, or, and particularly those using clinical samples, so samples taken from um, human sources and a wider variety of human sources. Another key aspect is you only need a very small amount of sample, about three microliters is all that it takes to measure 12 proteins in that sample with our technology. We're focusing on a few disease areas that have relevance to a wide range of discovery activities, particularly today. That includes the inflammation, inflammation response by the immune system, autoimmune disorders. For example, there's a lot of attention today on macular degeneration. So we've allowed scientists to be able to measure proteins directly in fluids taken from the eye to help drug researchers develop newer drugs that work better and more effectively. We're also working with scientists involved in cellular therapy and stem cell transplant, for example. The TH17 kit, we have a mouse version on the market today, and we're coming out with a human version in the next couple of months, before the end of the year. So that collects a number of proteins involved in what's called the TH17 cycle of immune response. So TH17 is a subtype of T helper cells, cells that are part of the immune system. Those cells are in particular responsible for the inflammatory response in the body. So the TH17 panel is a collection of proteins known to be involved in the body's response to inflammation, and in particular, the response of those particular TH17 cells related to the immune response. Our focus on translational research means we validate all of our products for use with a wider range of body fluids or fluids taken from, from mice or animal models, for example. And that means users can be assured when they buy the kit that we've tested it not only for blood or serum, but we've also tested it for cerebrospinal fluid. We've tested it for eye fluids, which are very different in their composition to the heavy protein content of serum or plasma. So by focusing on translational research, we're helping those that are involved in really trying to uncover what causes disease, but we also help pharma scientists who are looking for ways to find better therapy to those diseases. What we've worked with in the context of eye risk is a consortium of academic researchers, pharmaceutical companies in the European Union and sponsored by the European Union that's aim is to find an early test to indicate a predisposition of a particular individual toward developing one of these disorders, uh, the risk of developing an eye disease. We will be the technology provider, and meaning that the test will be developed and run on our platform. Siri in Singapore has been using our technology for several years for their internal research and with their pharma partners to better understand in particular the proteins involved in retinal disorders and in dry eye disease. So we're developing tests that implicate uh, the proteins that are involved in the development of those disorders. BioEurope for me is a networking opportunity. So many of the people here at BioEurope uh, are represented both by the pharmaceutical community and the investment community. So it's mostly a networking event where I'm looking for further investment into AOXA, so I'm meeting with a number of investors here. Members of my commercial team are also here and they're meeting largely with pharmaceutical companies that have an interest in using our technology in their development programs. Mm -hmm.